So um, what is ISOBUS? I suppose we get a lot of calls from customers who are looking to buy a GPS. They've never had a GPS before. Maybe they're looking to buy a fertilizer spreader. Um, when guys are buying fertilizer spreaders, no, it's very, you know, it all seems very complicated. There's isobus spreaders, there's spreaders that can be rate controlled, there's your basic fertilizer spreaders. Um, we get asked the question, you know, can I make my tractor isobus or how much would it cost? There's a perception out there that you have to buy a new tractor to have isobus. Um, I suppose that's, that's not correct at all. You can fit isobus to any tractor that has a, a 12 volt battery fitted to it. Um, this is an isobus harness that we sell and we fit. Um, it's a socket that sits on the rear of the tractor, a nine pin socket that you can plug your spreader into or your isobus implement into. I suppose the benefits of isobus, um, the main benefits are you get rid of the displays in the cab. Um, for a spreader you need, the spreader has its own control box, maybe a baler has its own control box, maybe you have a silage wagon that has its own control box. By going isobus you can use that one display to control any of the isobus implements. Um, so we'll say if you have an isobus spreader, isobus sprayer, isobus baler, the whole lot of them can run through the one display. So you have that one display in the cab at all times and you're not swapping in and out boxes. This spreader here is an isobus spreader. So I suppose the difference to this between a manual say spreader is that it has an ECU that controls the actuators for opening and closing your shutters, for example, where maybe on the more conventional sprayers or the older sprayers, I suppose you had a lever to open and close the shutters or maybe you had a hydraulic ram with a hydraulic hose to open and close the shutters. Now they're electronically controlled actuators, so there's an ECU mounted on the sprayer which controls them actuators and that ECU needs to take a control from the display in the cab. So what we have is the ECU with a large cable and a big round nine pin socket that plugs into the back of the tractor that then takes the control from the display. So that's basically what ISOBUS is, it's just a, a network that allows communication between the display and the cab and that ECU controller on the fertilizer spreader. So this is the isobus harness on this spreader. It's just a big round socket. If you're wondering is your implement isobus, if it has a big round isobus cable like that, they're pretty standard. Chances are it, it probably is isobus. This will go straight back into um, an ECU or a control box on the spreader. We then bring this forward, we plug it into our isobus harness, which on this tractor has been retrofitted as well. While this tractor is a 2016 tractor, it was an isobus ready from the factory. So we retrofitted the harness, which you saw earlier, to this tractor. Uh, when we re retrofitted the harness, we were then able to plug our spreader in and connect it to our display in the cab. So this is our isobus socket here on the back of the tractor that's been retrofitted some years ago. Um, we just take off the cap, got our big nine pin socket from the spreader that will plug in here to the back of the socket on the tractor this then runs up into our small nine pin um, socket in the cab which our display is plugged into um, it, this is not a trim alone this this isobus harness can be used with any other display it doesn't have to be a, just a trimble display so when you have an isobus socket on the back of the tractor or an isobus harness for the isobus implement it's important to have a display that has um, ISOBUS UT capability. So we see we have a UT menu here. So that then displays the spreader. So what we're looking at here would usually be on the spreader's own control box. But what we've been able to do here is remove that control box for the spreader and display the spreader on this ISOBUS display. Um, similarly, if you had your baler or sprayer that was ISOBUS or any ISOBUS compatible implement, that would then display here on the screen as well. So maybe you're looking at an isobus spreader, an isobus sprayer. Maybe you're a bit worried because your tractor is not isobus ready and you don't know what that means. It's very simple. It just means that your tractor maybe doesn't have an isobus socket on the back or a small isobus socket in the cab to connect your display to. Um, it's not a big problem. It's an easy retrofit. We just have the complete harness that will just connect up to your battery, we mount the socket on the back, we run it up into your cab and then we assign the necessary unlocks to your display or we get an isobus compatible display. Um, so you're really talking isobus, you're talking about a harness, it's a control network, but it's not a big deal if your tractor is not already isobus to retrofit it.